Monica and today I want to show you two examples, okay, two sentences and I need you to tell me what is the difference between the two, okay? Now take a look. In the first example it says Susan stole the money. In the second example it says it was Susan who stole the money. Now can you tell me what's the difference between the two? <laughs> well, the thing is in the second example, okay, we are giving our focus, our attention, our emphasis on a particular word. In this case, Susan. Okay, so clef sentences are sentences that place the importance or the focus on a particular part of a sentence. Okay, now the question is, Monica, in what context or when can I use this type of Clef sentences. Okay, take a look at the next example. Imagine that your friend tells you, well, I heard that you stole the money. And of course, you're an innocent person. You say, hey, no, 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 no. It was Susan who stole the money. Okay, so by saying it was Susan who stole the money, you are making it clearer, okay, that it was not you, but Susan, the thief, okay? So clef sentences are for that, okay? So clef sentences help us focus on a particular part of a sentence to help us express what we want to say, okay? So it's an emphatic structure and it's normally used um, both in speaking and in writing, but in writing it's especially more useful since in, in writing we, we cannot use our intonation or anything to express how we feel. So clef sentences are really useful, especially in writing, okay? Because of that, it will be more clear to understand the meaning, okay? Right, so how many types of clef sentences are there? Well, there are many types, okay? But today we are going to concentrate on four different types, okay? Ready for them? Right, type number one is a clef sentence that has a type of a relative clause, okay? If you remember, relative clauses are the ones that have uh, words such as where, when, who, that, etc. Okay, let's take a look. Right, so some examples can be the person who, the place where, the day when, the thing that, the reason why, okay? Let's have a look at some examples. Example one, I've come to say goodbye. Clef sentence, the reason why I've come is to say goodbye. As you can see, you are putting your emphasis on the reason why, okay? You want to explain why you came. That's why you are putting the reason why I've come at the very beginning of your sentence because the important thing is the reason why, okay? Which is to say goodbye, okay? Example two, the money is hidden under that tree. Clef sentence, the place where the money is hidden is under that tree. Example number three, his sense of humor is what I liked the most. Clef sentence. The thing that I liked the most was his sense of humor. An example four. Mary works harder than anyone else at work. Clef sentence. The person who works harder than anybody else is Mary. Finally, we broke up on the 2nd of May. Clef sentence. The day when we broke up was the 2nd of May. Okay, the second type of clef sentences are the sentences that start with the word what. Okay, one example. We need actions rather than words. Transformation. What we need is actions rather than words. Basically, the meaning is the same, okay? But when you say what we need, okay, what we need is actions, yeah? You're making it clearer for the other person to know that 
that's really important for you and for you actions are much 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 more important than words okay so the meaning is the same but the emphasis is different and is stronger okay the second example is for you okay during this lockdown i enjoyed playing with my children the most tell me one example starting with what okay pause the video think about it you have it okay so it should be what I enjoyed the most during the lockdown is playing with my children okay type 3 this type of cleft sentences start with the word all okay example I only want a coat for Christmas transformation all I want for Christmas is a coat and now this question is for you. Which famous song but Mariah Carey has a cleft sentence in the title? Yes, you got it right. All I want for Christmas is you. Very romantic. <laughs> right, and the last type of cleft sentence is the sentence that begins with the word it, okay? We use uh, the preparatory it and we put it at the beginning of the sentence followed by any relative words such as who, that, where, when, etc. Okay? The funny thing with this type of uh, cleft sentences is that with one, just with one sentence, you can come up with many different alternatives, okay? Depending on where do you want to put your focus, okay? If you want to focus on one word, you can produce one cleft sentence but if it's a different word you can give a different example okay let's do this experiment you're going to see now on the screen a sentence okay but i'm going to select different words okay and i want you to write down okay the four different combinations that you can produce okay so i want you to pause the video and write it down on your notebook okay ready so the example is the following. My brother bought his new car from our neighbor last Saturday, okay? And you need to write four different types of cleft sentences. One for my brother, one for his new car, one for uh, our neighbor, and finally one for last Saturday, okay? Pause the video now, write it down, and then continue later. Ready? Do you have it? Okay, let's have a look at the answers, okay? If we want to focus on my brother, okay, the cleft sentence should be, it was my brother who bought a new car from our neighbor last Saturday, okay? If our focus is, for example, on his new car, then the cleft sentence, it was a new car that my brother bought from our neighbor last Saturday. If the focus was on from our neighbor, the cleft sentence should be, it was our neighbor that my brother bought his new car from last Saturday. That was a tricky one. And finally, if the focus of attention was last Saturday, the cleft sentence should be it was last saturday when my brother bought his new car from our neighbor well well done that was tricky but you did it congratulations well here we go you did it congratulations everyone good job well if you want to keep on practicing these clef sentences i'm going to leave you a link in the comment section below okay so please visit the link and it will take you to an online activity that you can do at home uh, in order to improve your your clef sentences okay well if you enjoyed this video please like it and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet okay Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!